All right, so wait for your friends. They can join and we can start. All right, students, so you having your books already with you reading. Reading yeah. today we are going to learn page number 35, 35. All right, so unit number six, Miss Fit. <clears throat> so last week we already read Miss Fit, and we uh, have to <clears throat> answer some of the questions. So we are going to repeat again, reading, and then we will move towards the questions and answers. Okay, students, so uh, page number 35, match, match the pictures with the sentences. So we already do, you remember, you already write down in your book, students? Students, you already write down in your books the match pictures. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So then we are going to move to the reading. Okay. And you will have a bit practice of reading. And then uh, we are going to answer the questions. So in this uh, picture match here, we're having six pictures. So we already did that. So picture number one, it match B. Two match D, three match E, four match A, picture number five match F, and picture number six match C. So we already did that and we read in our last class as well. So we will move straight toward reading. Okay, so we are going to read again the story here. The story here is about misfit. Okay. So while we reading the story, so we are going to underline the words from the word watch, the words which are important, which can lead toward answer the question coming up. So we are going to underline that. So here, first of all, we are going to read. I'm going to read one time, and then I give students to make practice of reading before we move to the questions. Okay, students? So here, uh, Miss Fit. She is the fittest. She is the fittest superhero in the whole universe. She can fly at the speed of sound and lift a truck with one finger. She can run 100 kilometer an hour and jump up onto the top of a 20 floor building. She rescues people who are unfit and takes them to her fitness camp and trains them every day in the gym and on the track until they are fit and healthy again. She travels the world teaching aerobics dance classes. She wants to make everyone fit. Okay, students, so here in this uh, story of misfit, they are telling us 
that she's a, a misfit, she's a superhero in the whole universe, and she can fly with the high speed, with the speed of sound, and she can lift a truck with one finger. She can run 100 kilometers an hour, and she can also jump, jump up onto the top of a 20 floor building, okay? Now they're also telling us about she help other people. She help, she rescue people who are unfit and takes them to her fitness camp and train them every day in the gym and on the track until they are fit and healthy again. She travels the world teaching aerobics dance classes. She wants to make everyone fit. Okay, students, so this is the story of Miss Fit. So before we go to the questions, I would like uh, some of the students, so one by one, they can practice read, reading practice, okay? So who is going to read first? Me. All right, go ahead. She's the fittest superhero in the world universe. She can fly at the speed of sound and lift a truck with, with one finger. She can run 100 kilometers and her and, her and jump an hour. up an hour and jump up onto the top of a 20 floor building. Building. Boating. She rescue people who are unfish and takes them to her fitness camp and trains them every day in the gym and on the track until they are fit and healthy again. She travels the world teaching aerobics dance classes. She wants to make everyone fit. Okay, very good. All right, who's next? Going to read. You uh, sure it kills me. Yes. Um, you leave it again, right? Again, please. You leave it again, right? Uh, yeah, actually last week we didn't answer the questions. So first we are going to review and then we will go to the questions. So the questions will be from this story. Um, uh -huh. Okay, okay. Uh, last week, uh, uh, you remember which student didn't read? You can call them. Yeah, I know. They okay. read, right? Yes. Uh, okay, you can call the students who didn't read last week. You can ask them to read. Last week? I can't remember, teacher. Okay, all right. So let me select some of the students. As here, Okay, Poot, can you read? Can you read the story, Poot? Poot, can you read? All right, next. Nan, you read already last week? Yes. Are you sure? Okay. Um, Mangon. Mangon. At her, right, teacher? Mm -hmm. At her. 
โอ้นั่นอาเธอนั่นมังกรอาชินัด no reading last week last week okay first start first นั่น read this story please ชีเดอShe's the fittest. She, she, the. She's, she's the fittest. The fitness superhero in the whole universe. Whole universe. She can buy at the at the speed at the speed. Of sound, sound and light up. And lift a truck. And lift a truck with one finger. She can run one hundred kilo. One hundred kilometers. One hundred kilometer at an hour. An hour and jump up on to the to the top of to the top of a twenty. Twenty floor building. Twenty four building. She rescues. She rescues people. People who are unfit. So who are unfit and. And takes them. And take them to head to her fitness camp. To her fitness camp, and train trains them. Train them happy day. Every the, day, very good. In the in the gym. In the gym. And on the track. On the track. On the track. Until. Until they are fit. Fit, fit and healthy. Again, she travel the she world. Travels the world. Teaching. Aerobics. Aerobic then. Dance classes. Then class. She went to. She wants. She want to make everyone feel fit. Fit. Very good. Okay, so okay, so you can do practice again. All right, teacher, next. Not, not. Read this story, please. Don't be shy. She the queen. Test. She is the fittest. The fittest in the. Whole universe. Universe. She can fly at the speed of sound. From from uh -huh. sound. Very good. And lift up. 
has a truck. A truck. Lift a truck. A trucks. With one finger. She can run one hundred kilometer. One hundred kilometers an hour. An hour. And jump up onto the top of a windy building. Building. Very good. She rescues. Rescue. Who are unfit? You uh, fit and take them. Takes them to her fitness camp. Fitness camp. To yes. And trains them every day. Train them every day. In the, in the gym, gym, and on the track, truck, on the track, the track. Uh huh. Very good. Until until they are fit. Okay. And healthy again. And healthy again. She she travels the world. World of world. Teaching aerobics. Teaching aerobics. Dance classes. Then classes to She wants to make everyone fit. Everyone fit. Okay, very good. Okay, so you have to do practice. So it will be easy for you again. Okay, uh, and the student, teacher. Hey, please. At her, at her, list this story, please. Don't be shy. At her, I can see your friend. <laughs> okay, next is Mangon. Mangon, open your camera, please, and list uh, this story, please. She's the fittest superhero in the world. Mm -hmm. In the whole universe. In the whole universe. She can fly at the speed of sound and lift a truck with one finger. She can run 100 kilometers and out and jump up. Uh -huh. On to the top of a uh, twenty. Twenty floor building. Twenty floor building. 
Kill. Rescues. Rescue people who are un, un, unfit. Unfit and take them to her. And takes them to her fitness camp. To her fitness camp. And trains them every day in the in the gym in the gym and on the truck on the until, track on the track on the track until they are fit and hit healthy healthy again she towels the world teaching uh, aerobics aerobics dance classes she wants to make everyone fit okay very good okay students all of you make practice now let's move to the questions okay so these are the words which uh, like speed up, speed of sound, truck, floor, rescues, track, fit. These are all important words what we have to watch and which will help us answering the questions. Okay. Now here we having the question. Question number one. Is Miss Fit good or bad? What will be the answer? Again, please. Is Miss Fate good or bad? Nana, what is your answer? You already read in the story, she is misfit, she is good or bad. Uh huh, yes. She is good. We already read her story, she's good because she's helping people and all. Okay, next question we have can she fly? Can she fly? Tonkla, Miss Fit, can she fly? Yes, she can. Very good. Yes, she can. Okay, question number three. Who does she rescue? Who does she rescue? Let me ask uh, Sunday. Who does she uh, rescue? Everyone. Uh huh. Again, she rescue the unfit people. We already read those people who are not fit. She helps unfit people. Okay. Question number four. What does she want to do? Supercon, Miss Fate, what does she want to do? We already read. Cow, what does she want to do? We already read in the story, she wants to make everyone fit. You remember students? So the answer is she wants to make everyone fit. 
Okay. All right. Now here we having some I'm not finished. Uh, again, please. I'm not finished. Uh, st students, later on you can see the video and you can write. Okay, we have very short time now. The teacher will send you the link. You can uh, write again uh, from the video. Okay. All right. Now move toward understanding B. So here we having the sentences. The sentences having mistakes. Okay, so we have to make the sentence correct. Now look at the sentence number one. She is the fittest superhero in the whole America. Is it correct or they having mistake? One. Where is the mistake? She is the fittest superhero in the whole America. Okay, any other student? Remember? Adin. Where is the mistake? America. Okay, what is the word we're going to use here? Universe. Very good. She is the fittest superhero in the whole Ameri in the whole universe, not America. Okay, sentence number two. She can lift a car with one finger. Where is the mistake? Pinyapat. Sentence number two. Where is the mistake? She can lift a car with one finger. Mm. You can. Uh, uh huh. Carry you on. Can, uh, lift with one finger. She can lift a truck, right? Not a car. What we already read in the story. She can lift a truck, not a car. So the correct sentence is: She can lift a truck with one finger. Okay, sentence number three. She can jump onto a 30 floor building. Where is the mistake? Jao Khun. She can jump onto a 30 floor building. Where is the mistake? Jaohun, did you find the mistake? She can find at the speed of sound. No, um, sentence number three, she can jump onto a 30 floor building. She can jump onto uh, Thirty for building. Very good. Not thirty. Here is the mistake. Okay, not thirty. She can jump onto the top of. Uh, she can jump onto a twenty-floor building. Okay. Now sentence number four. Sentence number four. She trains fit people in her fitness camp. Do where is the mistake?
All right. Did you find a mistake, Dew? What? She trains fit people in her fitness camp. Where is the mistake? Okay, Lily, where is the mistake? She trains she, fit. She trains unfit people in Very good. Camp. She trains unfit people. That is the correct answer. Okay, so here is the mistake. Not fit, unfit people. Okay, sentence number five. She teaches yoga classes. Mm. Let me, Tonchaya, where is the mistake? She teaches yoga classes. She, 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 she. She Arabic. Very That's good. Classes. She not teach yoga classes. She teach. She teaches aerobic classes. Okay. Sentence number six. Last one. She wants to make everyone happy. Matum. Where is the mistake? She wants to make everyone happy. She wants to make everyone unhappy. Everyone again. She want to make anyone unfit. Everyone fit, right? <laughs> Not happy. She wants to make everyone fit. Okay, very good. Okay, so these are the. Uh, mistakes, what we already find out in the questions, you can make correction. And uh, students, you can write in your books later on. We will continue. Okay, so here we having a survey. Uh, each student, you have to do by yourself, okay? Read a survey. We having eight different kind of uh, sentences, what you can do, what you cannot do. So among these, what you can do, you can write the tick, okay, click. Like for example, can you do yoga? So if you can do, you can write click. If you cannot do, you can leave that. Now, second, can you play football? You can, if you play, you can write click. If you cannot play, you can leave that. Now, number three, can you play? Uh, can you play badminton? So if you can play, you can tick. If you cannot play, you can leave that. And uh, number four, can you jump one meter high? Number five, can you swim 50 meters? If you can swim 50 meters, you can click. Uh, you can tick here if you can't, so you can leave that. And number six, can you run one kilometer? Number eight, can you skip for five minutes? Number eight, can you lift 10 kilograms? So, among these, I what I can do, I already take here, but you have to do by yourself what you can do, what you cannot do. Okay, so now here we are going to make a sentence about you. Then you have to make a sentence about you as well. Like for example, I can play football or I can do yoga, anything. And what else you can do? Like uh, uh, can run one kilometer, like for example, I can run one kilometer, so I write, can run one kilometer. What else you can do, you can write down here. And then uh, in the last sentence, you have to write what you can't do, what you cannot do, you have to write here from the fitness survey. Okay, students? So like for example, if you can't lift 10 kilograms, so you can write, I can't lift, or if you can't do anything, if you can't do yoga, so you can write, I uh, <clears throat> cannot do yoga. But this students, you have to do by yourself. Every student, what you can do, you have to do by yourself. Okay, now here we having a conversation. 
conversation of Noi and Som. And we have the words, we have in the missing part. So first we are going to read the missing part. A, no, my mom teaches me. B, sure every time. C, who do you play with? D, every weekend. E, can you play tennis? So these are the missing parts, what we have to put here in this conversation. So the conversation start from Noi, one, number one. So they say, can you play tennis? All right, so they're asking, you can look at here at the picture, they are playing tennis, right? So the question, it will be, can you play tennis? Now, some reply, yes, it's my favorite sport. So now, number two, what will be the best missing part here we can put? Yes, it's my favorite sport. Now read here, what will be the suitable missing part we can put here in number two? Students, anyone see. can answer me? See. See. Huh? See. 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 Here. Who do you play with? Next, that's the correct one. C. Who do you play with? Now, some I usually play with my family. So, Noi, do you have lessons? Some, what will be her reply? Do you have lessons? Uh, A. No, my mom teaches me. That's the correct oh. answer. So they're asking, Nui asking, do you have lessons? So we can look here. No, my mom teaches me. Okay, continue the conversation. How often do you play? So what will be Som's reply? Sure, anytime, B. Sure, anytime. Play anytime, are you sure? 